Okay, hello everyone and welcome back to Hollow Knight. In this episode of Hollow Knight we are going to continue here in the resting grounds because there are two little paths which are unexplored and that is not a good thing. We are going to take a look. Honestly, at this current stage that is the only place I can think of where we might be able to make some progress. I genuinely don't know if there are any unexplored areas aside from... Okay. Those who try to leave this kingdom are cursed. Better to rest here until time itself sleeps. Hope and freedom I thought that's gonna blah 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 blah. Okay, do you still hope Wanderer will you flee? Challenge the warrior dream. Why not? This is like some... Oh, cool. Oh, this is cool. This is like some optional stuff. Okay. So don't hit him on the way down as well. Or way back. Shit. Yeah, okay, that's the... That's the thing you gotta be careful of. Okay, so we already have a fight. I thought this was gonna be like a proper boss. But it ain't. Okay, he's doing something. What was he doing? Okay, okay, I'm taking... Oh, I saw what he's doing. Damn, dead ass. I got annihilated. Shit. Well, that second phase was a little bit more difficult. Still, in terms of making it back there safely, I think we're pretty well covered. Uh, there's no chance of me losing any of my shit here. So yeah, here we are in Hollow Knight. Of course we are. Uh, I think what I'm... Oh, hello. Damn, that was close. Before we do that, listen. Before we do that... What? Okay. There is no way to go forward. I think I have to defeat him, right? Yeah, I think so. That's the only thing I can think of. Shit. How did that both miss me? Don't even ask. I, think I got insanely lucky. Damn, I wish this guy didn't move so much. Okay, this is the this is the real shit. Okay, I'm like in fucking ultra instinct mode right now. Fuck, how much HP do you have? Yes! Whew. Boys, that was not easy. Those turn against the king are doomed as soon as they raise their weapon. Do not call me a traitor, simply call me a fool. Okay. I don't know what the hell this was. Cursed are those who turn against the king. Well, that's brilliant. So we got like that... Butt juice, whatever it's called. That spirit thing that we need to collect. How the hell are we gonna go get up there? Strange. And this is where I should be able to go down, but... 
Well, I honestly thought that would do something, genuinely. But it didn't do anything. That means... That means we're in a little bit of trouble. I'm not gonna lie. Oh, that's the dark area. There might be something... There. There's a path across. Although I'm pretty sure I have explored that area. Cocoon. Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> Alright. Here's the thing. I did look up a while back one thing. Not like a big cheat or anything like that. Just somebody mentioned, or maybe it was in the comments, I don't know, I saw it on Reddit, I saw it somewhere. Uh, people are saying, or were saying, that those dark areas aren't actually impossible to navigate. Kind of just have to take it like the Tomb of Giants, because there is apparently a lantern and you can buy it. But I think it costs like 1800 coin. So like feasibly... I am nowhere near close to being able to get that. So, yeah, that's something that might we might be able to do. Wait. Oh, it's just this. Okay. Never mind, never mind. I got this tree. I have no idea how to open that. How much essence do you need? Like a thousand? Oh, you needed 100. Take this old trinket when you have collected 200. Hallowness seal. Oh, okay. Hallowness seals are useless, right? They're just little, they're literally just trinkets. Does that mean I can open this now? No. How cool that would be. Anyways, let's go then. Let's go back to Dirt Mouth. Just want to check that lantern. And there is one more thing I've been thinking of. You know, in Metroid, I, I just remembered when I looked at the map and I saw that there's a cocoon at the King's Pass. What happens if I go back? That's my question. Again, you know, in Metroid. You know how in Metroid, you, especially like in Zero Mission, you reach the original area, you know, like where you land your ship. And there's like some new stuff there once you have different upgrade materials. Yawning. It's not even late. This It's 2 o'clock, 2 p.m. when I'm... This is it. Luma Flying Lantern. Oh, I should have... I had a shit ton of uh, money. And I spent it on other bullshit. Oh well. So yeah, let's just take a look at what happens. It's very possible that there's absolutely jack shit here. But you never know. Yeah, yeah, I think we've seen this in the original run through as well. Oh, there's definitely shit here. There is definitely things you can do. Cocoon. Oh, that's what a cocoon is. I forgot. Thing that gives you extra HP. Uh, I think we've seen all of these, right? Hmm. See, now I'm beginning to doubt myself. 
because the mall is this bad. Oh, okay. Well, that's something I missed. 15. God. Just thinking of having to collect. That was accidental. There is something new here. You definitely couldn't come here before. There are lands, do not hide your true form. Let's, let all bask in your majesty. Only this kingdom could produce one such as you. Hello. Fury of the Fallen. Oh yeah, this is... Okay, almost. So it leads back here. But in principle... I did discover something new. Might as well take a look. Just finish taking a look. Uh, I'm assuming... Yeah, you cannot scale these types of walls. It looks like you could. Oh, hello. Yeah, because the wall jumping is... You know, it's such a new ability. It, like, unlocks a lot of stuff. Once you have it, I mean. Do not have a... This is a new area. 90% likely that this is optional. I mean, these types of areas... Uh, howling cliffs. Alright. We discovered a new area. This is awesome. It is where we kind of started, isn't it? It is where we dropped off of at the beginning. I knew it. I knew it. I mean, just going off of, again, Metroid logic. This is hella it. Sorry, little guy. Straight up killed him. There goes all my... Oh, shit. Okay. I was going to say there goes all my extra HP, but there goes some of my regular HP as well. All right. Well, I'm happy. Shit. Okay, I'm not that happy anymore. I took a lot of damage. I want to explore that upper part. Again. So many branching paths we can enter. Okay. This is interesting. Whoa. I could sense an aura of a fierce warrior approaching. I'm impressed you find my sanctuary here at the top of the world. Nailmaster Mato. Oh, yes, 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 yes. Oh, look at the little animation. That's awesome. Master the cyclone slash. Hold square to concentrate your energy into the nail. Release the button while holding up or down to perform the cyclone slash. Oh, okay. That's adorable. We're like... We're like little Jedi or something. What is it? Holy shit. That is awesome. I like it. We have a new ability. Badass. What will it be used for? I have no idea. Uh, I'm really hoping we'll have eventually the ability to break through walls or floors more specifically. I don't know, man. Gorb. Bow, 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 bow to Gorb. Uh, do we want to challenge Gorb? 
Gazorp, Azorp. Fuck it, we're right next to a checkpoint. There's. Okay, he's Moonlight Butterflying it up. Okay. Just be careful. I'm gonna hit him with this. Shit. I'm assuming that this does a lot of damage. It's a little bit more difficult than his previous body. I feel like I'm still doing okay. Certain angles make it difficult. Fuck, just come on, die. Yes, okay, he's dead. I think he's dead. He's definitely dead. And these are not as difficult as I thought. I am Gorp. Well, his dialogue is not exactly the most fascinating. Now we have 200. Oh, these each give 100. He lies Gorb the Great Mind. Great Mind indeed. Gazorp, Azorp. Yeah, I've seen Rick and Morty. Don't worry about it. Who hasn't really? You know my e IQ is high enough for Rick and Morty. It's gotta be. There's for sure some way to get in there. Whatever. It looks like some Geo only. The money is called Geo in this game, right? I don't know if that's something I've just dreamt up or it actually is called that. Shit, this is like a proper large area. I thought this was like some side shit only. But I don't think it is. I think I'm dead. I'm not dead. Oh shit, I think I'm dead. No, I'm not dead. How am I not dead? I know there's no fall damage in this game, but god damn, I fell a long way down. Okay. I didn't even want to come into this area first. Because I'm like, I definitely left some things in the previous areas. Please tell me you bring those back. Hell yeah, you do. My little buddies. So, what we're gonna do is we'll ascend. Back up. This area is crazy. Man, I wish I had a map. I fell such a long way down. It's kind of crazy. Oh, no, I didn't. It's not the worst. So what I wanted to do before coming out here... Is I'm sure I've missed things in here. So let's just finish Naisu. Like these things. Means I can heal up completely and still have energy left. Okay, just making sure 
And this is where I... Okay. Is this where I entered? I think this is where I entered. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. And that's where the hole is. Where we started the game. The one we fell off of or down from. And we can go forward. Without falling into the spikes, you know. Alright. My curiosity is satiated. Let's move on. So this area, this area from what I've seen of it is a little bit intimidating. A giant cliff. So can't say the enemies are a massive challenge because they're not. Interesting. Oh, it's the dude! We're quite close to Halonas borders and those desolate plains that surround it. In this direction I'm about as far as I'm willing to, do, to go, though it's been a pleasant change from the tight confines of the caverns. Yeah, we're gonna... we're gonna... I know it's... I should be... Cornifer. He introduced himself before, right? I don't know. I feel like he has. Doesn't matter. Oh, shit. I feel like if I do go into... This is not gonna work. Yeah, we need the lantern for that. 100%. 100%. Holy shit, okay. Well, it looks like down is the way to go. Yeah. And this is interesting. Again, this game is so Metroidy. Speaking of Metroidy, wonder what the status of Metroid Prime 4 is. I know it's been like, it's kind of been half announced, right? But then people found out that it's been cancelled or like restarted the development. It was a little bit shitty. But hey, what can you do? Sometimes you just gotta restart a game. It doesn't always bode well. In fact, I would say most of the time it doesn't bode well for games when they get restarted. But still. I don't know shit about game development, so who am I to, you know, criticize? Oh yeah, I love these things. I haven't rescued one in ages. Okay. What did I have I been here before? This area seems familiar. Really familiar. I'm guessing no. I probably would remember. Shit does kind of look the same as in this game. I mean, no criticism or anything like that, but it's just how it be. I'm guessing that's just a little. See, but see, I feel like now I missed something there. Man. It's always... Oh, shit. I know what to do. Got this, like, bud juice. What do you have to do? F 
forgot what you have to do. I know you get like treasure from this. Oh yeah, yeah, you have to collect these. There's like twenty of them, right? First of all, King's Idol. Okay, we cannot <laughs> we get blown back. Alright, got the message. How the hell did we even make it here? Why do I have a feeling that this entire area's point is this tree? You have like a difficult ish platforming section. That I apparently cannot conquer. Don't worry about it though. Again. I've been playing Super Meat Boys, so don't worry. Wonder what this max is out at. Thank fuck each of those like warrior spirits or whatever give you a hundred. Cause getting to a hundred here would have been a pain in the ass, let me tell you that. I like this. I like this as an idea. I mean platforming is always fun. Hopefully reward number two will actually be worth it. Ouch. Yeah, I dodged straight into it. I'm willing to bet serious money that I've already missed a couple. They can't be that dickish that they put them in like really obscure places. Oh shit. I'm gonna watch my HP. There's a lot of these things. Well, wonderful. <laughs> I was, you know, I was just about to say, I am for sure going to fall at least once. It's all good though. I didn't finish collecting in this part. Or did I? No, and, and it's, so he, you know, it's the panic fall. So you fall and then you go into overcorrecting and then you end up fucking killing yourself or like even f falling further down. And it's how, you know, it's like slipping on ice when you're in the car. People who don't know what to do overcorrect and they get themselves killed. I'm only talking about this now because the roads here have been icy as fuck. These past couple of days and it made driving not so fun it's not good driving on ice anyways but you have everyone else to worry about because you know there's people fall into ca two categories when like weather conditions get bad in terms of like drivers and the first category is people who panic and, you know, they go like, oh shit, I miss, missed some, didn't I? Yeah, again, the people who panic and they go like 10 kilometers an hour when they drive. The second, the second category is people who think that they can drive the same way and speed as if the weather was normal. And when these two categories meet, you usually have an absolute disaster on your hand. So again, driving has been... Jesus, there's so much of these. Oh, finally. Naisu. Naisu, naisu. I think and with that, I, we can safely say that I, I have explored this area I think I've seen all that I can from it 
So what did we pick up? We picked up a couple of King's Idols, Rancid Egg. This is the thing that we got. Embodies the fury and heroism that comes upon those who are about to die. When close to death, the bearer's strength will increase. That's nice to know. So what I'm gonna do is we'll explore this dirt mouth path because I feel like I missed something here. Or green path. It leads to the green path. But how though? Let's find out. I have been here before. I know which place this is. Yeah, I know it. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. The question is... Where can I go from here? I mean, damn. I really thought that our discoveries up there were going to be... Tiny bit more significant. I mean, it's very possible that le this leads to somewhere else that I would previously would have been unable to discover, but I don't think so. I think it just loops around. Hmm. In Interesting. It is just loops around. Now at this point I really feel like I've exhausted most of my options in terms of exploration. I'm sure I have not. As in obviously I am missing something. But the only thing I can think of now is to go into the dark area, which would be pretty shitty. I think what we're gonna do is... We'll head to the station. We'll head to the station and we'll go back to Dirtmouth, maybe? Maybe could be possibly. Man, I really gotta pee. I don't know why I felt the need to share this information. This isn't a stream. What the hell? I don't remember these enemies. Hold on a second. Try blocking that. They did block it, didn't they? Actually, I think I do remember these guys. They're hella annoying. No, I do remember you. Cool. 40 cash. I'd have to kill them so many times to... Uh, get enough money. That would be kind of crazy. Cause I was just thinking, what would I need to do if I wanted the lantern? But I've determined that the grind would be too, too much. So instead, I think I'm just gonna struggle through the darkness. That sounded like. I was depressed or something, but I'm not. All right. Ring that bell. Let's go. So the one thing I'm going to do is I'll make it back to the area. With the darkness, and I guess we're just going to... 
struggle again. Cat, can't you take out like a loan or something? It's like a banker in this game, isn't there? Okay, nothing new. I think what we're gonna do is I'm going to go ahead and wrap up this episode here. I'll figure out where to go in a bit. Also, if I look at my map, the Howling Cliffs kind of mapped out, half mapped out. Cool. Yeah, I'll go, I'm going to go ahead and wrap it up here. Thank you guys very much for watching. Hope you enjoyed this episode of Hollow Knight. God, we have a long way to go. Yeah, we'll see what we can do about it next time. Oh, I should go to the resting ground. Pick up my reward. Yeah, we'll do that as well. Thanks for watching, boys. See you next time. Goodbye.